the Slam Ball Cages event. A four-hour event where the players with the most my points that finish top five win unlimited boosts and more. But there's a twist. The court is filled with trampolines where there is no three-point line. There is no out of bounds. There are no fouls. There is no adrenaline. There's no goaltending. You can push people and there is plenty of high flying. So it's time to lock in. Bro, that's not the real double H, bro. I'm on that. I'm on that. Oh my god. I tackled him. Get on. Yo, give me that. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh. Give me that. That's a snatch block. Oh, put the ball down, you little random. This kid just going up with like, anything, bro. Dude, look at this little cutter. Like, bro, what are you doing? Bro, I'm gonna get you. 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 Bro, I'm gonna Throwing the lob, he's throwing the lob. Get there, get there. Oh my, I'm Superman! Oh my god, he's gonna get us on board. He's gonna dump him because I can't get under him. I got a five year old in game chat freaking out. <laughs> so you're telling me this just jumped from the mid range. Now, double H number five, double H number five. I guess I'm not making the first 2.4 core ever. I guess. I guess. <laughs> What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And as you can see, I'm walking into the first ever Cages event of NBA 2K24 and the first ever unlimited boost event of NBA 2K24. Yes, this was a leaderboards event, not something I was expecting. Drop a like for the first, first leaderboards event of 2K24 and subscribe to the channel if y'all are new. We got plenty of bangers on the channel coming soon and that we've already posted, okay? Your boy's gonna be hawking these leaderboard events, bro. Y'all already know. I do it every year, so I had to hawk this one. Now I was expecting this to just be a event, you know, where it's just giving out extra levels and multipliers or whatever. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this to you know get closer to starter three, which it did help me get closer to starter three. But this was a leaderboards event giving out unlimited rebounds boost, which I wasn't expecting. So I was on my three-way sharp build. You see, I was playing with my boy Pep and Swag's return. Pep was on a lockdown build and Swag was on a six-eight popper build. Okay, now as you can see, this was our first game of the event. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what was gonna be meta for getting my points. It's obvious. The top five was based off my points to see my first play on defense. I'm smacking that dude's stuff. And as you can see, there's a lot of different rules in the cages. It's not like regular 3 3 basketball if you miss the intro. There's no out of bounds. There's no adrenaline. There's no Gatorade. There's no, there's no stamina. There's no three-point line. There's no goaltending. There's no fouls. Like it gets crazy in here. Though you're gonna see a lot of the gameplay in this video. The meta is kind of you know, sit paint, try to time the blocks, you know, spam X, try to get steals push people and not only that but if you're gonna shoot the ball you gotta start pump faking and getting in the defense's heads to try to bait them into jumping before you actually shoot the ball <laughs> it seems like my teammates are already spamming his stuff like taking advantage of the no fouls but yeah you see i get an easy you know two right there i mean is it a three is it a two i don't know what to call it but they're all worth two points no matter what now my build has a 25 dunk a 92 three-pointer and you're gonna see me a couple times in here actually dunk the ball like it doesn't matter what your vertical is what your dunk is what any of your ratings are if finishing wise you can dunk the ball in this game mode but the lobs were broken you couldn't throw lobs in here um but yeah i don't know what was going on with 2k in this event though like, what are those dudes in the background saying, bro? They were saying some crazy stuff throughout this event. But as you can see, we started cherry picking. And really, yeah, the meta was, you know, get as many blocks as possible. Try to cherry pick when you're up a lot just to get easy twos and end the games as fast as possible, right? Now, we ended up finding out later on, of course, because this was the first game. We didn't know this at this time. But you got to fill up the stat sheets to get your my points. So as you can see, I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit in the paint. I'm going to go for blocks. I'm trying to win top five. So my what I try to do, because I'm on a two-way that can shoot the ball. I was like, okay, let me sit paint, go for the blocks. We can have Swag's cherry pick. I'll get the assist for that. And then when he when it's time for his to get him to get his assist, he'll hit me and I'll shoot the three. So every single play, either me or him are involved when it's scoring the ball, whether it's through an assist or shooting a green, as you can see right there, even though I got blocked. Like some of these games, these games take a lot longer than normal three three games, but look at these dudes just kept blocking us. I'm gonna green every shot. Shoot, 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 shoot,
Like some games you would be playing like bad players, but they would just get 20 blocks because they're just timing everything. It seems like Swags tries to pump fake him there, get some jumping, and that's really what you have to do. Like you're literally just trying to read what the defense is going to do in the paint because no one actually really guards you on the perimeter in this game mode. I mean, some people do, but usually those are the people that, you know, I don't really know what's going on unless you know they have someone there's gonna be someone sitting paint you know what i mean when you're playing the good teams there's gonna be someone sitting paint or the lazy teams because they just don't want to play defense but yeah look at these kids are getting a, a bunch of blocks and like i said some of the games would take like 20 plus minutes no not 20 plus minutes but longer than usual because these dudes are just getting block after block after block and then you're getting in a shooting slump so when they don't actually block it now you're missing like that's just how it was in this game mode uh, but as you can see, it's 16 to 4. We're blowing this team out. And yeah, I mean, we were trying to end games as fast as possible. We were trying to get as many stats as fast as possible because that's how the my points work. We got to get top five. It's the first ever leaderboard event, y'all. I got to secure. I'm trying to get unlimited boost in every category rebounds, assists, shooting, passing, whatever, bro, because. I'm trying to lock in, you know what I'm saying? The, I'm trying to lock in this year with the events, and th like I usually do. So it's 20 to 6 right now. We all got takeover. Swags with the inbound steal hits to me, and I agree in the shot. Now, what we did after every game to make the loading screens faster, we had someone sit in the event center and send us game invites. If you guys didn't know, this is actually a really good method to win events because if you join off of your friend by the way i'm 12th place that 12th place after the first game if you join off someone in the event center immediately your whole team and then load back in you get in the game way faster so you can get a couple extra games that way put it down please nope get it, get it, get it. Get no it, get it, get it. oh yeah, my yeah. god he's making 51 percent hey yeah uh, this cages event was a little rattly bro like we were raging sometimes because like this cages event some crazy stuff be happening but yeah you see we end another game right here and we're hawking my double h number five double h number five come on. like my teammates tell me i'm top five after the second game i'm like okay come on we got a real shot at this but then my teammate you know gets an error code so i go down spots but it's okay it's only the second game so we get right into another game we're up to eight, eight, you know eight to four right here and this small slasher we were playing with against was giving us problems oh put the ball down you little random this kid just going up with like, anything bro dude look at this little dunking right, everything bro everything. Yo, Swags is too funny, bro. This dude is raging at this little small dude who probably didn't even have a dunk on his build. Like I said earlier, like, you're going to see me later in this video with a 25 dunk, like, just dunking stuff. You probably saw it in the intro. Like, you don't need a dunk rate. But yeah, as soon as the game ends, I join the game invite. We load up, send each other squad invites, get right back in the event center. We get the game immediately. And when you load up for the first time in those tubes, it puts you in the game immediately as well. So it's like, it's super meta to do that. So after every game, we do the same thing, get into another game, and we're just trying to end the games as fast as possible. We're trying to go crazy. Simple as that so we in another game we're up 20 to 2 i mean a lot of these games are just complete blowouts like we immediately found the meta for cages and we were locked in i'm 11 oh i'm nine i'm eight i'm eight i'm eight yeah i'm not let's go henry come on really 3k come on. behind we're literally 3k behind come on. fifth come on henry and i kind of explained the meta earlier you see we're hyped up like we're we're up there we're competing we are closing in on top five but obviously there's four hours bro you, you know there's a lot of game time left like we can't get too excited we got to be locked in for the entire event consistency is key in these events you see it's two to zero we're feeding for the assist no we're never scoring unless me or swags are getting an assist out of it so yes we're making sure that we maximize on our stats we're trying to get as many blocks as possible we're trying to get as many steals as possible we're trying to get as many assists and you know catching you will, will assist data points as well and we're just trying to get to 21 as fast as possible while doing all of those things and of course winning and then joining the invite and doing it all over again for four hours straight so that was the meta that's what we were doing and obviously you see i'm on my 6-6 six, six guard build you know a lot of the people on the leaderboards at this time which we didn't know were centers so i was like one of the only guards up there because a lot of guards were struggling getting points but my build has defense so unlike these other short guards they were only shooting and getting assists i was getting blocks steals because i actually upgraded the defense on my build so right here we're up 22 we all got to take over these dudes are blocking us they had a third teammate that just gave up and look at i am i'm there i'm literally fifth place we are completely locked in, and then we get into our first game chat game. We got this, bro. We got this. Come on. We're almost an hour in. Oh, we're locked. Have to say lock for me, my boy. I won't unlock. Back to me, back to me. I'm not gonna unlock. Just oh, unlock what? That's actually so late. So you're making that. Oh my god, he's gonna get us on board. He's, he's in dark with me, so I can't get under him. I got a five-year-old in game chat freaking out.
Yeah, this kid was funny in game chat, bro. He was he was really Superman right now in the game. He's oh my man. god! Now we Bro's controller was vibrating like crazy, yo. He was really giving us problems. Like I don't know what was this kid was doing, but he was literally blocking like every single shot. Okay. As long as you get I'm the five roll to jump, okay. we're good. Get number like we actually had to worry about it. This dude was talking about y'all lucky, bro. Like I don't even know that. That was just funny. Y'all gonna see a lot of game chat games in this video. That is uh, pretty entertaining to see people's reactions of playing us, and then just you know what ends up happening in the games. But look at me. I read that lane perfectly. They don't give it to me. But let's see what he has. <laughs> bro really thought he was gonna agree. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's crazy. But look at this game's like taking a while to start. And we, what y'all are gonna see is those standing dunks, by the way, are really overpowered. But we started pushing little bro, and uh, he he wasn't having it. Oh my god, we can't pick up a plug or nothing. Thank you, bro. Pick up Yo! Shit. So what do we have to get? Come on, fake, come on. Come on. Go up first shot now. Go up first shot now. Yeah, he says he's gonna pump fake everything. First shot him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, reading the or hear the game chat, bro, actually helping us out. It says no when these dudes are gonna jump or not. You see, we first shot him right here. Oh, actually, he pump fakes. He jumped immediately and then he actually blocks it. Like, bro, getting your shot blocked when you green was a different type of frustration that y'all do not understand if you didn't play this event, bro. Shot one. Yeah, anyways, we get another steal right here. Sometimes they just weren't giving us the steals when we did. But look, it, it throws it off the cage. Press text. Right. Okay, bro. All I did was press text, man. Now, nah, little bro and Gage has started to get frustrated. But y'all see, sometimes the ball just be getting thrown off the cage for no reason. Like, you can't even control that. This dude was really saying his teammates were trash. I mean, it's unfortunate. Oh, my. I mean, do you see what I'm talking about, bro? I'm greening a shot, and it's not going in because these dudes are blocking it. But I get it right back, shoot another one, and, of course, that's the one I missed. Like, I swear, bro, that was so frustrating. You green a shot, gets blocked. Then they don't block it, and that's the one you miss. And y'all know 2K24 shooting is already hard enough. Now you got dudes flying 50 feet in the air, <laughs> blocking stuff. Like, I don't know. But this event was fun. Like, let me know. If y'all played this event in the comments, did you have fun playing this event? Because, I don't know, I like playing some of these events that have a twist to it and obviously cages has a massive twist to it like it's not like a regular 3v3 game that kid's literally a 60. it's literally a toddler all right we can just do either or now either or now i need assist anyways yeah this is reactions to game chat i'd be crying bro but yeah i mean this, this was this was a good game right we're up 16 to 2 as this dude gets a standing dunk and like i said earlier standing dunks were like literally unstoppable in the cages you weren't gonna block them and you can't contest them so the only way you were gonna stop them is by just spamming x and hoping you ripped him as he was going up right but yeah look at we're up 18 to 4 and even this game is taking a good amount of time right because they are blocked a good amount of our shots so it's taking us a lot of offensive possessions to get to that 21 and y'all know it's only twos so you can't hit a three so the games are going to take longer you know naturally because there's no three pointers right but we get another steal right there steals help a lot and then we immediately join the invite and get into the next game now as you can see i am eighth place right now i mean there's a dude with already 100k my points and we are 40 or no 50 minutes into the event we're playing more goat tiers right here and these dudes you know we're i'm not gonna lie some of these goat tiers they don't know how to play cages you feel me so that was an easy blow up and we get to another game right here and these dudes were also talking to the game chat so y'all make sure to listen in fucking longer than my dick to shoot that shit i didn't, I didn't mean to no. do that dude i can't we're gonna lose the event because i can't shoot you're good come on i can maybe i can't look you're good, no, right, you're, good. you're good wait 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 I contested it. Oh, shit, Henry. I'm trying to get it. 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 Get it, get it, get it. I'm walking it. I'm walking it. God. Where are you going? Good shot. Come on, Henry. Yeah. Oh, Damn my God. It. These dudes are tied with us zero to zero. Talk about they're gonna smoke us. This dude goes up with them crazy layup. Like it's just so frustrating. Like these dudes are in game chat. They want to get the win right, and they're blocking all of our shots. Like we're just trying to end the game as fast as possible. This dude's going up on three people. Yo, what is happening in the paint right there? We get the ball back. I'm trying to get to assist the swag. He shoots. 
doesn't get blocked and of course that's the one we miss look i swear that happens so much in the event and then i shoot a green and then he blocks it like yo oh i keep saying it over and over like it was just mad frustrated look at what's happening in the paint this dude's just spamming standing dunks Come on, Henry. Let's both win this event, baby. I got it. Give me that. Come on. God, you dog. Come on. I'm not missing again. Come on, baby. Come on, Slice. We're locked. We're locked. Come on, bro. Slow we'll start, bro. Let's get out of this game. Let's make up for it. Come on. I got it. Put down. Good shit. Come on. Pass back. Stop. I'm just messing. It. Yo, I, just like that, they went from zero to zero, let's smoke them to eight to four, saying they lost. But I mean, we're missing a lot of shots though, right here. And they're also blocking a lot of our greens. Like th that, bro, having a seven foot plus center in this cages event, just sitting in the paint, timing the blocks was actually the most annoying thing and probably the most overpowered thing in this event. Like having that tall player was such an advantage in the paint for opposing teams. And we noticed that when we went up against seven foot players or a taller that we're getting a lot of blocks. Okay. But yeah, they're down 12 to four, but they end up having a new strategy that they like to talk about here. Yeah. Made it. Got it. Got it. Day. Oh, Wait, why don't y'all stay in the middle? They want to sit in the paint. They want to stay in the middle. They want to get as many blocks as possible, but you know, they're mistiming a lot of them. And y'all see my player is playing good defense. Like y'all are going to see as the video goes on that how valuable my player having defense, like the steals, the blocks, saving us points, saving us time as well. Just getting a steal off the inbound. Look at this dude's blocking me again. I'm over here putting a crown on my head and the ball's getting swatted to one of the fences, bro. Like I can't, I literally can't with this event. 16 to 8. We're on the fast break. Swags hits me for the assist. And of course, you know, thank God they didn't block that one. Shit. And then this dude's blocking me again, talking about I'm third place or whatever. But yeah, we're up there in the rankings. But like I said, some of these games be taking longer than others. You know, some games, the other team doesn't even know about the blocking and the paint. And they're not even jumping for it. And some games, we're playing a seven-foot center like this that's got like seven blocks, okay? But anyways, we get that game over with. And as you see, I'm fourth place. I'm 15K behind first. I'm fourth place. And I feel like we could be even doing better than this. But uh, yeah, uh, I think we got this. Best. Oh my god. Oh, I, I got it back. Come on. Hit me, hit me, hit me. I'm trying. I mean, that's a W miss. Uh. I just spammed Icon Square and it made me go up with it. Made it. Uh, Yo, what is the announcer saying in the background, bro? <laughs> This event is insane for that. Like, what is happening? But as you see, we get that game over with. We get into another game, and we're just doing this over and over, bro. We have four hours. We're playing goat tiers. But like I said, if you a goat tier matching up in the cages, look at the score. It's 20 to 2. You're not a goat tier in the cages. They might have to do different tiers for the cages. I'm not going to lie, because just because you a goat tier in the park, hey, you you not built, you might not be built for the cages. You feel me? Like, no, but like, obviously, y'all know I'm good in the park. I'm good in the stage, whatever. You know, I'm good in those order modes, but we knew how to play in the cages. Like, as soon as we found out what to do, we were hawking. I mean, we were literally winning every single game. As you can see, we haven't even had a close game yet. As you can see, I'm dropping to the leaderboards, though. I'm seventh place. I mean, there is a dude that is like 25,000 at ahead of me that i mean i was getting about nine to ten thousand my points twelve thousand a game on this guard by the way so that's about like two and a half almost three no not three but yeah, about two games in front of me we get another game down and now i'm down to eighth place i'm like yo i'm dropping it dropping it. it's okay though there's plenty of time left we got plenty of time to get back into that top five so we just gotta keep going right we all have takeover right here these dudes are flying out of that dude's on the floor is he okay is that dude okay someone might need to give him cpr this dude swags pulling up from crazy deep we get the rebound hitting him back just to get the assist he fades away makes that one and we go ahead get right back in and i'm still eighth place and there is a dude that is already at 200 000 my points i'm like yo these dudes are really hawking but hey i got my trio and i we we got plenty of time left 
So it's time to lock in 20 to four. We get another steal. Those inbound steals saving us a lot of time. So we get another one of those. All three of us can play defense. And now I'm fourth place with two hours and 18 minutes left. Shit, man, we can't let this dude beat us in his tins, bro. Another game chat game in, and these dudes, you know, had some low overalls. They weren't anything special. But their reactions were kind of funny. So we got to, you know, we got to show this game. Okay, so 0-0. Zero, zero. We try to get the assist here. Swags hits his first shot. No, oh, get that shit out of here. Oh, shit. No, Bro, the latest reaction I've ever seen. Come on, there you go. Yep. Where you going? Oh, that's right. Oh, hey, oh. Oh. Don't try that off. Get that shit out of here. Damn. Oh, bless that shit is ridiculous, bro. Nice. Come on, man. What, what was I supposed to do? You said not to pass it to them. Come on. How, how did you not block that, dude? Wait a minute. Oh, and then sh what the? What? What the? Oh he was already in there. Going first one. Oh, I'm fake. I'm fake. I'm fake. That was dumb. That was dumb. I pushed him. He's oh. right here. They gotta be creators of the game or something. Yeah. That kid waited 10 years, bro. That's what I feel like, bro. I ain't doing nothing. Oh, I'm trying. Like, I really am trying, though. I'm not. 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 Bro, I don't even want to talk about that dude's last comment. Like, what does he say? With the one dude with the late reactions, bro, I know he had to be high as hell playing the game. Like, that dude would see a shot go in and then 10 seconds later be like, oh, damn, he green. <laughs> like, like, what was going on? But y'all heard me, like, in, in my Discord talking too. Like, I'm literally just nonchalant. I'm super calm because I'm just locked in. Like, in these four hour events, I'm not really talking too much besides communicating when we need to. We're just completely locked in because it's a long event. You gotta stay long for a long you gotta stay locked for a long time. So that's why a lot of these event videos are post comp because obviously y'all would just be put to sleep because I wouldn't be talking much on the live comms, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, we get that game over with. We win that game. We're back right into another game. These guys had 20, 10 points. A lot of the teams could not even get the double digits on us if y'all are looking at the final scores. But yeah, we get a green right there. Go back into another game. And look it, I am seventh place. There is a dude with what, like 240 something thousand. And I mean, it's a fight. It's a dog fight right now. We're going in the top five. And next game, we're right outside the top five. Then a couple games later, we're right in the top five. You know, we're fifth or fourth. And now we're eighth place. It's just crazy. Like it's competitive right now. And we got to just keep going. We got to keep winning. We got to keep doing our thing. You see, I'm seventh place right now. And we're trying our best, okay? We're trying to get these unlimited rebounding boosts, even though I have a 25 rebound, okay? We're playing some more dudes right there. Oh, he's he's not gonna Henry, he, just Henry's jumped just from, he just jumped from Narnia. I guess, bro. I guess just jump over the whole play Space Jam. <laughs> nah, that's crazy, bro. Like, dude really said he's playing Space Jam. <laughs> I mean, this really is Space Jam, though. Like, that, that, that's really how it is, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, So, yeah. uh, that, that, that That's... That's the fact that it doesn't matter, but hey, I like playing Space Jam. What was that one game? NBA Jam? That's literally what this is, bro. Cages is literally NBA Jam with no superpowers. That they, well, I don't even know what they call those, but no, like, I guess you can say that's takeovers. Imagine that takeovers and cages were like that, though, when you could just literally get a guaranteed bucket, though. But as you see, we're feeding for the assist still. Hit swags, end that game, join the invite, get right back, and y'all already know the meta at this point. But look at this play right here, bro. These dudes were blocking us over and over over and over they had like one guy that would jump then the second guy jumps then the third guy jumps and look at this this is blocking it with his foot 
He just blocked that shot with his foot, bro. Are we serious? Like, I, I can't, bro. Like, there were there was multiple possessions like that throughout the whole event, though, where the other team would go 24 seconds straight of just blocking us, and we would just get a shot clock by this. You see, I'm eighth place right now. There's a dude with 312,000, like, how is someone that far ahead of me, bro? But anyways, yeah, my, my teammates were raging a little bit. So you're telling me this just jumped from the fucking mid-range. Yo, Swag, Swag's is too funny, bro. Like, I mean, that's how it is, though. Like, you, we look at the leaderboards, we drop, then we get into a game, and we got, you know, Timmy4312 literally jumping 80 feet in the air, swatting every shot attempt to the other left side of the court. And then, of course, the one shot that doesn't get swatted, you know, is it, green. But anyways, we get into another game right here, another game chat funny game. And uh, this dude was just not having it. Punk. Bro was bro was literally just saying no. Uh, and then they were arguing about who was the real double H. Yo, this kid is freaking the f out. He just keeps saying no, no, no. My no, time no, is no. not the real one in a second. No, that's that's not the real double H. That's not him. That's one. I'm not Kevin, bro. That's not the real one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is not buying that shit. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. That's not the real double H, bro. He's an Xbox. Player. Yeah, no, but but he instead of a, instead of an L, it's an I, bro. He has an I in his name. The real double H has an L in his name. <laughs> nah, that dude was too funny in game chat. I don't know what he was saying no about. He probably, he's, I think he saw my gamer tag. He's like, no, we're, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Da, da, da. But yeah, we're up 16 to 6 right here. And we're just trying to get these games as fast as possible over. You see, sometimes I'm acting defensive takeover just to get extra blocks. Cause y'all know I was sitting in the paint on defense, going for the blocks, sometimes trying to get some steals. But sometimes I would activate sharp take just because, you know, maybe Swags needed the assist at the end of the game once I activated takeover. And, you know, with sharp take in the cages, you can literally just green everything it's just a, the, the only thing you got to worry about is them blocking your shot or not but anyways we end that game loading we're setting squad fights and now i'm eighth place it's like bro i'm about to drop outside the top 10 like eighth is the lower lowest i've really gone so far since we've been in it but it's just frustrating it's like we gotta get in this top five there's you know we're over halfway done with the event so we get we got there's no games being played like we gotta lock in we can't mess around like we have to end these games we have to stay locked we have to hit our shots we have to predict if people are gonna block us or not look at ninth place now there is a dude that is like 60 70 000 mile points ahead of me it's like we haven't lost a game we're literally joining invites getting into games as soon as possible ending games as fast as possible and there is someone that is seven guys seven games ahead of me i'm like bro there has to be something i'm missing bro are we not getting the correct amount of my points what is going on because how are these dudes getting this many more my points than me as you see now i'm 10th place 10th place this dude is almost 80,000 ahead of me in first place. It's like, yo, I'm gonna drop out of 10th. No. What Wait. the f Huh? Nigga, what just. What? Huh? What just happened? Bro, that's not the real double H, bro. It's the fake double H. Oh, he said it's not the. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. That's not double H's place, bro. That's this is literally my friend. He just pretends to be like double H to get reactions. <laughs> like he he's like friends with the devs so he can literally get whatever he wants bro it's not the real one bro don't get yourself too excited <laughs> don't get yourself too excited it's crazy <laughs> yeah you're gonna see you're, he doesn't have a logo yet bro they're, they're, they've been weird to him bro you right like you right <laughs> <laughs> nah, this dude is gullible in game chat, but shout out to Lil Bro in game chat for supporting the channel and stuff. But yeah, we end that game. We won like 22 to 6. And look at it. I am ninth place. This dude is almost 100,000 my points ahead of me, bro. 100,000.
That's like 10 games for me. I'm getting like 10, 12K my points a game. 10 games? Bro, we haven't lost a game. Like, I'm not skipping no games. I'm showing you guys every single game. We haven't even come close to, to losing. Has the team even scored more than 14 points on us? I, I don't even think so, bro. I could be wrong, but most teams are just getting the single digits and then just losing. And there's like barely any time left in the event. So it's like, bro, we basically lost. Like, this is getting bad. Like, unless a miracle happens where maybe these dudes are cheating or something and they get banned and they just don't get any my points for the rest of the event. Like, they're, we're not winning this event, right? So we, we're not going to give up, though. You know, we keep playing. We keep ending the games fast. I'm ninth place. There's 20 minutes left. And it's like, dude, like, we, can, we finished out the event, but it's just like, we're not winning, right? So two minutes left. I finished ninth place. And we were like 120k down from first so it was like okay whatever the event ends i don't get top five and obviously there's a lot of these servers i think there was like seven of them so i'm like okay i'm gonna try again it says congratulations you won your reward so yeah we got our jersey we got the 200k plus my points rewards you know the 5k vc the gatorade all that stuff but we didn't get the unloaded rebound boost so i was like okay let's run it back so what did i end up doing is pick up picking up another squad so i picked up my boy cash out who is on a pure sharpshooter my boy enzo who is on like a 610 popper build and then me, I made a new build, a seven foot three build that I'm gonna be using for Ruffles probably that can pass the ball, rebound the ball and block. Cause I saw other teams that we were playing against, these seven threes were getting in a bunch of blocks. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this build and we gonna see what happens. We gonna try to end these games as fast as possible. And I'm just gonna completely fill up the stat sheets. I'm gonna get as many blocks as possible. I'm gonna get as many rebounds as possible. And I'm going to assist every single basket we score or pass to assist and then if we need a dunk or something you know i can go up with a standing dunk so that's what we did you see this first game we take the dunk right here six to zero i have two assists two points a rebound i'm going for blocks sometimes i don't jump for the block because i just see you know try to predict if they're gonna miss or not sometimes that works out for me sometimes it doesn't work out for me you know and this is like one of our first games of the event this is like within the first hour of the event i get an assist right here easy green ten to zero right and look at my stat sheets like I, I get mama mentality every single you know game which is basically like double takeover but all the takeovers at once this dude we and by the way that was a strategy that we had so enzo was basically on another center so we would just sit in the paint right and i would have him jump first so we were communicating so i was like okay you jump first on the first like shot and then if he you know gets you to bait it and you jump and when he doesn't shoot and he pump fakes then i'll jump on the next one so we were timing stuff up and casha would play like little to no defense he would basically cherry pick the entire game unless we needed him on defense if it was a close game and obviously sometimes he's gonna get blocked like right there but that's fine you know that's gonna happen like that's just a part of cages but well, that's still not gonna you know stop us from cherry picking trying to get as many stats as possible and of course trying to end the games as fast as possible so you see it's i have two six and four you know i'm getting some blocks i'm getting some contests i get baited right there on that jump 16 to 4 enzo every time i got the rebound just hit me so he makes uh, sure i get the assist 18 to 4 and then sometimes if i had just an od amount of assists you know we would just get to the pass to assist right here which is supposed to be what that was supposed to be that's why i passed the enzo but i ended up just getting the regular assist which is fine so we're up 20 to 4 and this is just a very good example of what we were trying to do in every single game we played in this server and right here he makes sure i get the assist after he gets the reout and then the game ends and then we were still doing the invite thing where we join the event center squad up and get right into a game okay so that's what we were doing literally every single time and i'm going to be showing you guys my place throughout this event now off the rip i was like top five off like game one like after game one i was like second place right so about an hour in i was you know in the top five throughout the entire time we were hawking we were ending game stats you see right here i have 10 assists and eight rebounds so there would be some games where cash out would miss a lot and i'd have like 15 rebounds see i'm first place i'm literally first place 160k my points i am first place like we finally found what how people were getting so many my points like my guard i was getting like what 10 to 12k probably what cash out was getting when we were playing this event but the centers were if they played good which i was playing good on my center you know i was filling up the stats getting my rebounds getting my assists getting my blocks sometimes a couple steals if they played good they'd get anywhere from like 13 20k a game you know what i'm saying so it was crazy like centers were getting so much more so that's why in that you know this first server dudes were like 100k my points ahead of me so we had finally figured it out so now it was just about executing you know we got to win our games we got to fill the stat sheet. I mean, look at this game i have nine rebounds and nine assists who knows how many blocks and steals but i mean we're just going crazy and like i said there'd be some possessions like this where maybe cash out misses twice three four times but i'm gonna just get the rebound because my center build had a 99 offensive rebound right here we are still 
first place, bro. We are literally locked in. I was so locked for this. I was like, we gonna secure the unloaded rebounding boost. And yeah, I didn't. This build could that I was on couldn't shoot. Like I was just on a 7-3 that was just getting rebounds, blocks, and assists. That's literally all I was doing, right? Sometimes occasional standing dunk. And look at it, we're still blowing out teams just like we did in the first server, even with a whole new team, different lineup. Like no one was getting many points on us. Sometimes other teams would get you know a little closer but we would still end up winning like the first server we didn't lose the game so far in this server we haven't lost the game this dude's trying to post hook on us which is actually really you know op and cages i swat his stuff look at i have nine nine multiple blocks i'm getting so many stats which is equating to so many my points you see now i'm second place though someone ended up passing me but it's okay as long as we finish top five we're good you see this team is 20 to 16 they end up missing that cash out still cherry picking even though it's a four point game easy assist look at 10 assists, seven rebounds that game. Look at this game. We're now third place though. So we're dropping a little bit, but we're halfway through the event. So we have been top five for two hours straight. We have two hours left. So all we got to do is just continue to stay in the top five. And we're good. Look at this game. I mean, I have a double double. I literally had 12 rebounds and 11 assists. I mean, I am completely hawking right now. We're second place. So right now, I'm, I haven't really had first place since like the first hour and a half. So right now I'm going in between like second and third. I haven't dropped the fourth yet though. So we're just continuing to lock in. You know, we check boards after every game, you know, ever every other couple games just to make sure some this game I had to end with the standing dunk because Castro just could have hit a shot at the end of the game and look I'm still second place we're good to go we're getting into another game and we we're ending some of these games really fast but this game right here we played against a dude that was like sixth place 18 to 18 we're locked in Enzo wide open pump fakes hits cash on the off ball we need this win and he doesn't get blocked he greens it this is a must win this is gonna affect a lot of the leaderboards this dude wide open Enzo jumps I'm staying in the paint I'm not getting baited this dude wide open I don't jump and he greens 20 to 20 we need a bucket this is a must win game against another dude that's top 10 Enzo for three gets it to go Enzo ice in his veins I mean that wasn't a three but it was a two you know what I'm saying but that was a big game that dude was like fifth place he ended up dropping a couple spots be because of that and we're still top three so we're gonna go i don't know what that was by the way i threw that off the backboard but we end this game really fast hey, dude look at we're hawking i don't know how that dude is 20k ahead of me but we're second place we haven't lost a game in this server yet we are literally getting like double doubles near double doubles you know on our bad games getting multiple blocks every single game we get nine I, i'm finishing this game with 10 assists and eight rebounds bro oh actually we got a pass to assist there so nine assists eight rebounds look at i'm second place three hundred seven thousand my points an hour and a half into the event what was the last event i was on guard i finished with like three hundred seventy nine thousand my points that's the whole event so we're easily going to pass that in this event you see i try to get to a pass to assist right here i don't think it ended up getting it but we end that game so it doesn't matter we're out that game and I was locked. I was averaging like two blocks a game, like near 10 rebounds a game, near 10 assists a game. We were going crazy, but this is another very good example game. You see, we're playing a decent team. I actually didn't end up seeing their player guards, but we're playing a team right here and we're up two to zero. This is another very good example game of how we play. Cash on cherry picking 24 seven. Maybe he'll come down like this just to rush their possession. We want the other team's offensive possessions to go by as fast as possible. I get the rebound, immediately throw the ball down the court to cash out for an easy two. And those fast breaks were really important because, you know, a lot of the things that, or the thing that makes some of these cages games take a long time is when the other team blocks your shot. So if he's cherry picking, no one can block his shot because no one's even on that side of the court. So that's a very good. You know thing and that's why you know us getting defensive stops me and enzo in the paint but you know even though we only have two defenders is very key that makes the games end a lot faster so right here you see we're getting a lot of stops cash out's like pushing people and stuff and that's working and we're up 10 to 8. like we're we're or not today we're up like 10 to 0 so we're really locked in right now 12 to 0 right here you see i'm getting blocks i'm locking in like i have six assists two rebounds it's 12 to 0 Picasso hits me. I throw it right back to him because he wants to make sure I get my assist. It's 14 to 0, guys. Picasso is cherry picking every play. Look at us. These dudes are trying. Like, obviously, they're not very good at cages. They are trying their best. They cannot score the ball, and we only have two defenders. It got to the point where you see this dude started guarding Casho while their team was on offense because they just weren't scoring. Look at he throws it up. He actually just misses anyways. Um, we try to get a stop right here. He misses that because we're both centers with good interior defense in the paint. At this point, I'm throwing flashies. This dude's flopping. I mean, they're down 20 to zero. They literally, they're all cold. 
Guys, they're all cold. They are <laughs> they are trying their best to score. They can't score. They literally could not score. We had two defenders the whole game. We just 22 owed them with cash on cherry picking like the whole game. So of course we're gonna keep cherry picking. So that was like that was like really like a crazy game. Like obviously we're not 22 and owing every team, but literally at 22 8 Like we're blowing out teams with two defenders with me and Enzo's, you know, meta in the paint. And if you didn't hear me earlier, our meta in the paint was okay, we're communicating who's gonna jump when. So you're gonna jump first, and then I'm gonna jump on the second one, and we're gonna try to get as many blocks as possible, as many stops as possible to get the easy fast breaks. But anyways, I'm still second place. The event is getting closer and closer to the end. At this point, I'm just hoping that the timer goes down faster and faster and faster because time is on my side i need that timer to hit zero right now i'm in the top five you see now i'm dropping the third there's an hour left one hour left we have been in top five literally the entire event ends with a clutch steal right there those steals really helped out they made games end a lot faster i get the assist right there i only had two rebounds in this game look at this only two rebounds but look at my rebounds started going crazy for game point because they started they decided that they were just gonna block every shot get the assist so there we go third place I am third place right now. You know, the second, third, and fourth, we were all fighting with each other. Like, we were all like a 1,000, 2,000 mod points within each other. So, we were kind of, you know, going, you know, between each other, you know, cycling through those one, two, and three spots. You see, I was just now what Casha was telling me when we were looking at these leaderboards every time we backed out of uh, the thing and joined um, the event center was just look at sixth place. Stop looking at third. Stop looking at where first is at. As long as you are ahead of sixth place by a lot, then you're chilling. So that's what I started doing because uh, he's right. You know, someone would have to get into the top five and pass me and I would have to go even you know further down. So if I'm, a, you know, a couple games ahead of sixth, then I'm chilling. You know, no one's going to be able to take my spot, right? So right here, I get a rebound. You see, I got nine, 10 assists, seven rebounds that game. Look at I'm fourth place, 450,000. Once again, like one or 2,000 within like second and third. And this is the lowest spot I've ever been in. Like I've been top five basically the whole event. Fourth is the lowest spot I've been in. So I'm kind of getting worried. But then I'm looking at six and I'm like, bro, I'm like two, three games ahead. Like I should be chilling unless we like really sell this event badly. We would have to sell bad. But look at right here. And I'm just taking the standing dunk because, you know, they couldn't hit a shot at the end there. So I was like, let's just get out of this game. As long as we get out of these games and we're ending games at a decent rate and we're not losing, then we're good to go because we still haven't lost a game. Like I, there was like seven servers of this cages event. Obviously, we lost sometimes. But the two servers I'm showing in this video, we literally didn't lose a game in either server. We probably played like 35 games in each. I don't know how many games exactly, but that's 70 and 0 for this video. I'm not going to lie to you. Like we were locked in, brother. Cages. We, we, we a top cages team, you know, you know, fucking, fucking st uh, top stage team. We, we a top cages team. You know what I'm saying? Who can really say that? Anyways, fast break, going for the assist. Cash out hits me back. I'm just trying to end this game. So I just take the easy layup and there is two minutes left. I am third place, third place. We end up going into another game just in case. Cause you know, but if some miracle happens, I don't want to, you know, end up losing. I was like 20 K ahead of, you know, six, but you know, you could get 20 K in a game. You see the top left, the event ends up ending. Um, and a new thing this year is your, my points don't count at the last game. The only thing that counts is your win bonus at, in this last game. So you get like an extra 2000 for a win bonus. That's about it. And look at, I got all the pretty close to starter three. So if you want to see me hit starter three for a video, make sure to drop a like, cause this event got me really close to it. Anyways, the event ended. We got third place. We got our unlimited rebounding boost, all the tier one prizes and the 25,000 VC, and we have won the first ever unlimited boost event of NBA 2K24. There is a new one coming soon as well, so if you want me to play in that and try to win that and post that, make sure to drop a like on the video for your boy. I think it's the 2K League one, so we had a lot of content from the 5v5 and 3v3 2K League stuff last year. If you want to see it again this year, make sure to drop a like. But as you can see, the rebounding boost is unlimited. It has the infinity sign. We did get the unlimited boost. You see, I got the jersey. You see, I got the arm sleeve. We won the event. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos on your screen. It's been your boy, Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.